Hi and welcome to my next video. This is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Yeah, welcome to my latest video. This time we are going to do a little bit of different video. This time I'm doing a, stream, a screen recording and I'm going to show you how to download and get um, the latest files, how to order PCBs, how to order parts. Um, this will be really easy, hopefully. I at least tried to make it as easy as possible for you if you want to build a micro STX uh, sandwich. Let's see. Um, there has been a short update recently. I'm going to show you um, what I've achieved. I've generated a serial resonance multiband board um, with 80 to 20 meters as before, but uh, this was my first build. Um, you can see everything is over 80%. And the second build with a uh, little bit optimized values, <laughs> getting ridiculously high values, like 91.8% uh, and 83.6%, depending on the used band. Um, this is what you can expect when uh, building the current version. Okay, we start at uh, groups.io, uh, the UCX group in the file section, and there you can find the uh, Delta Lima 2 Mike Alpha November Micro STX sandwich files with new serial resonance class E multiband circuit. You can download it, which I obviously did because I was the one who uploaded it. Um, if you unpack it, you will get the following folder structure. We have data sheets, firmware, PCB files, schematics, and the building manual. Now, in the data sheets uh, folder, I put two files, uh, the relays I'm using on the multiband board and the display I'm using on the I.O. board, because both are not very common and maybe you need it. Uh, I put it in there just for my reference so I can look stuff up real quick if I need to. Firmware, this uh, QCX SSD Eno file was optimized to switch the relays. Um, and I removed the, the bands uh, that are not needed because they are not supported. And yeah, just put it on there and it will work. PCB files, that's the fun part. We are going to deal about uh, we were going to take care about that in a second. The schematics folder, we can have a look at that. Unfortunately, I'm having a problem with uh, Acrobat Reader DC in combination with my screen capturing software. So I'm going to open it with Chrome browser. Um, this is the I.O. Let's have a look at the multiband circuit. As you can see, zero reson serial resonance. That's the shunt capacitor, zero resonance, one pi filter with a parallel capacitor for first harmonic notch. And those values have been tested and generated those values. Okay, now for the fun part. This is the building manual which I already have opened here. So let's start with ordering the PCBs. Um, you have the files. Let's go to JLC PCB. Um, usually you start with, uh, for a quote, with uh, the dimensions, but we do have them in the files, so we do not need to take care about anything here. Just, yeah. I don't know if it works. Let's just try it. Um, let's get a quote. So we see 10. That's ridiculous. 10 PCBs, 170. Now I'm going to upload Gerber files. Just upload the zip file. You don't need to, to do anything else. Uh, you do not need to extract them. Just upload them. And let's see what happens. Usually, normally, it should uh, recognize a four-layer board now, 
Let's see how intelligent that thing is. Yeah, detected four layer boards. See, it even recognized the dimension, so we didn't have to input anything, uh, which is great. Now, four layer board, 55 by 85, 1.6 millimeter, everything standard. You can choose between different colors. That's an interesting option. Green is obviously standard. If we go, for example, for blue, it doesn't cost more. Black doesn't cost more. But if we go for white, yellow, or red, this will be expensive, as you can see. OK, I prefer blue, whatever. Um, if you decide that you want to order a stencil, you can do that here. And the stencil files are already with the, within the uploaded zip file. So nothing to take care about besides activating stencil. And uh, as you can see, here's, here's the size of that stencil. And that is really, really big. I don't like that. I uh, overlooked that the first time I ordered from them. So I would suggest to go with a custom size and choose whatever you find appropriate. Uh, sorry, you got to click this here, adjust the size and confirm. Now, as you can see, even though we have chosen a customized size, it, they didn't charge us extra for the stencil. So it doesn't matter. Um, I think it's easier to handle if it's smaller. But it's your decision. If you need a stencil, you can do it here. Just wanted to show you that. Let's deactivate it. Save it to cart. If you have that, Engineering fee now, it's yeah, pretty high. Well, uh, I'm already customer here. So uh, probably if you order the first time, it will be cheaper. Uh, what I wanted to show you also, you can see um, how the PCB will look like and uh, get first impression if everything looks all right. There's even a Gerber viewer. where you can look at each layer in detail, if you like to. Solder mask, silk screen, and so on. Yeah, But not necessary in my case. OK, um, let's go for like 10. Yeah, the boards are 4 euro. The engineering fee is pretty high. I don't know what I did do now. Maybe I've uh, I've used up all my bonus uh, stuff. Whatever. Uh, let's say we have it in our cart, and now we start over with the next PCB. Like get a quote and upload the next server file. Uh, Mainboard we already have. Let's go with multiband board. And it detected a four layer board. <laughs> As you can see, special offer 595. I choose blue. And I save it to cart. Yeah. Ah, see, now they've changed the price. So something must have gone wrong. But as you can see, now we have the two boards, we need the third board. Um, and that's the, the ordering process. Basically, it's just about uploading the file, choosing the color, and be happy. All right, now that you have ordered the boards, we need the parts. And if you look to the manual, um, I try to make it really easy for you. I put uh, here, Mauser shopping baskets. Let's start with the main board. If I click on that link, here's all the parts you need for the main board from one source. And uh, the practical thing about Mauser, uh, in this case, uh, German domain, but uh, 
if you click that, they will detect your location and, and ask you um, for your location and uh, route it uh, to them. So you will be um, served by the Mauser location closest to you. This will work everywhere in the world. They will ship everywhere in the world. And they they say uh, it's without shipping above a certain level, which you will uh, overcome within that project. OK, um, as you can see, I even put in the designators. So you can see yeah, L1 and L2 of the main board. Uh, that's that item and so on. Everything you need to assemble the sandwich is included, including even the spacers. I will show you because uh, you can see it here. Um, I already put it in my, my basket. It's recognizing me. And here you can see the BS-170, uh, the 7805. Now let's say I have plenty of them in stock. I can just delete them. Confirm. Uh, I already have, let's say, the spacers. I delete them. And so on. Um, that's the way it works. Yeah. This is a special part. Um, let's have a look at that. I'm using that as spacer for the main board because it has male and female connectors. We need that. They are only available in a 36 pin and some uh, smaller pin counts. We need 14. So uh, somewhere down the road, I decided that it would be best to order the big ones and just cut them. That was easier, uh, easier as uh, just putting them together. And with one set, you can build a lot of uh, PCBs, actually 10, if you do not make a mistake. Sorry, uh, five, five, because you get uh, 28, you need 28 of the 36 that will be remaining. Okay, that's that. And you need to do that additionally with uh, all the all the other boards, and then you can order them. I have the same list for I.O. board. I have the same uh, for multiband serial resonance RF board. But here's a little drawback. Um, Mauser doesn't have the toroids. If you need toroids, you can go to kitsandparts.com. Um, I already went there. Go down to toroids. You can order them here. You need 10 T37-2. Uh, and you need one FT37-43. Uh, if you're in Europe, uh, it's probably best to order them at Reichelt. Here you can see the T37-2 costs 53 cents per piece. And another tip, the display is really expensive at Mauser. You can have it cheaper at uh, Reichelt. There are also some other parts that can be or cheaper at Reichel, like the, the sockets, uh, the 3.5 millimeter sockets, and stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to provide it from one source for you, so it's easy to order. It's maybe a little bit more expensive, but uh, very convenient, if you ask me. And it's closest I can get uh, to a kit without providing a kit. OK. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you appreciate the help um, and the effort I put in. And I'm going to present in the next video how everything is assembled. And I'm going to show you some tricks how to solder SMT parts by hand. Uh, and even the tiny SI5351 can be soldered by hand if you know how. I'm going to show you how. All right. See you next time. Bye bye.